I just want to show you the underneath of this side of the navicular bone, which I wasn't expecting it to look quite like this. I thought it was going to look nice and smooth. I think, can you see there? There's quite a gouge, isn't there? There's just like um, this tissue through here is, is uh, brown in colour and um, it, it doesn't seem to have the cartilage. It seems to stop at this point here and there seems to be a gap and then it starts again here. Now, I think there is cartilage there, but I think it must be incredibly thin at that point. And I'm going to take some still photographs of that to show you. Uh, but yes, another example of, of a problem with a navicular bone. And let's have a look at the deep digital flexor tendon. Let's have a look at the surface that it's running across. I think you can just about see a degree of discoloration in that same place. It's, it's quite hard because I've got to almost turn it inside out. It's running across there. And I think that that is, it, it, it works perfectly for that point there where we're seeing that, where we're seeing that um, lesion on the bottom of the navicular bone. Now, whether or not this would have caused the horse pain or discomfort, I, I don't know. And this might be something that, that wouldn't cause any problem at all. And uh, I think there are different degrees of erosion of the bone and different degrees of damage of the tendon. So maybe this is early, early navicular disease or navicular syndrome, but we can definitely see some changes going on in that navicular bone and the deep digital flexor tendon. Thank you for watching.